to Zuby Masters returning to my Let's Play of Danganronpa. Could be played DVD just fine. Hyoko Gaming put in the player. It said it was playing, but nothing appeared on the screen. I stared in, into the black of the monitor. It must have been a few seconds, but to me it was like an eternity. And then all of a sudden, and an image appeared. Saika? I haven't seen Saika who knows how long. There okay, she was. then. Are you ready to begin? I do apologize, but I hope you don't mind if I record our conversation. I'm a little slow, you know. I never really got the hang of taking notes while having a conversation. Trying to make a joke, but I think they can make it more. So this video is meant to serve as a kind of contract substitute. It's not that I don't trust you guys. It's more like insurance so please don't worry too much now then let me get straight to the point there is a chance that you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school can you accept that uh, um. you mean you accept that it's obviously I a total loss I mean total sins would agree to spend the rest of your life in the school Thank you. And I'm sorry about all this. Well, I can promise you that I will do everything in my power to keep you safe. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, I give you my word. That's where the video cut. Why have dancing on this? I couldn't cover him right. Know how much Saiko would want to get out of here. Know how much he went to escape and pursue her dreams with her friends. Not so bad she tried to frame me for murder. That's why? She yes, yeah, leaving here for the rest of her life. As I sat there thinking about it, I noticed the sudden light on the monitor. The video I thought was finished flashed back on screen. And I was confused before, but I saw plenty right over the edge. So, Makoto, before we begin, I should let you know that I'll be recording our conversation. Yes. I'm not sure we're looking at each other. You and I are having what seems like a fairly normal conversation. But I, I have absolutely no memory of it. I don't remember ever meeting the headmaster, much less being down to talk to him. Now, shall we get straight to the point, Makoto? There's a chance you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Yes. Can't be real. I said I'm yes. I'm sorry I'm putting you through all this. Well, I mean, you don't have much of a choice, do you? But I promise that as long as you're in this school, I will do everything I can to protect you. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, that's the very least I can do for you. Once again, the video cut out from here. The video repeated the same scene again and again with others. meant the DVD wasn't playing. Say what? Oopsies, looks like it broke. Now service. What just, it just so happened just to break just now? Too bad. 
bad. This thin wind do doesn't matter. Failure can strike any wearing. That's what failure is, bro. Failure, my ass. You hit the power on or whatever. I'm gonna watch the whole thing and just be more sick. He'd ask them the question and they oh, Yes, help the huge mission <laughs> side, but did. That's right. Too. When I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself, a disconnect. It would seem. When my memory was gone, I forgot. I couldn't remember why. I went to the school and I couldn't remember my ultimate ability. What? But what could make you forget all hey. that? It didn't happen by chance. It seems much too convenient. How come? That seems too obvious worked in the favor of the master. So does that mean I lost my memory too? What about the others? Have they all forgotten? Or trial is going to start. The final class trial. Last time all of our lives will be on the line. Last hope and despair on are on the line. I have a choice. I have to do it. This is the end. You're early, Makoto. Listen. Does that mean you f feel prepared? Yeah, for now at least. Where's everyone else? Why aren't they here yet? However... Don't worry, I'm sure they'll be here soon. And just like she said. Yakuya. Yakuya. They arrived one after the other. All had the same state of shock. Hina? Hero. Silence. There was nothing normal sign. Silence of fear in its position. It was like the first flash try. You called for me and so I appear. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm strong silent master is so wonderful, so cool, so hot. My loins are up late. Yes! Now listen everyone. It'll be just fine if you leave it to me. My beautiful scissors! I'll stab Gordon Ship the master of evil. But I thought you couldn't kill anyone but adorable little boy. <laughs> If it's what Master wants, it could be a boy, girl, or anything in between. I can have it. <laughs> no human language can describe the disappointment when I feel it. <laughs> Is everyone here? Oh, and wearing our gloomy gut spaces, I see. Well, now. Let's be Trails, chills, kills! Pitch black despair, climax to Minxar. That's fine. You're right, this is the final cut, but this time, it'll be fair. What do you mean this time? Stop with all the slander. I'm a bear of good standing, you know? If there was a Mr. Fair Guy contest, I'd take home the tiara every year. I'm gonna win this super fair and square. Today, I'm Make sure everyone's white. watching at home knows that despair is might and then hope. Stop talking. Enough of your TV show. Begin the trial. <laughs> Let's begin the trial, Rick. I'll be waiting for you down below. You guys. And don't try and run away. <laughs> Monica would disappear. In the name of my family. This will over be over in no time. Um, the Akio was the first to enter the One by one, the others fall. Mm -hmm. 
made eye contact. No one said a word. They just disappeared into the alley. Hey. They're all acting on it. Like they're apparently suspicious of However. You know what it is, don't you? Yeah, I However. Tell us all about the clash. So right. Rage went right. Of course. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say. Is on board the elevator. Started making my way towards the open. After I stepped towards the gate room, I resolved that this must be the last time. I repeat to myself that there was no fear, no mystery left. I pushed down the anxiety down, calming my trembling body. And finally, on my stay legs, I passed the threshold and stood in the elevator. Without warning, it began to descend, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper still, deeper, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper it fell. I closed my eyes and slight fell away. Sound too disappeared, alone in the universe. I walked for the elevator door, open for the last. And seconds or centuries later, I felt the gentle vibration of the elevator come to an end. I slowly opened my eyes. The final trial. What do you think? Isn't it just the perfect background for deciding the person's face? This is a long awaited clap. Always exciting final boss battle. Instead of on this one, I'll just sit right here where the fake is sticking. Drills! Chills! Kills! Oh, well, let's begin! Since this will be the final class trial, I've come up with a special rule. So listen up! If you can figure out Mukuro's killer and go on to solve the mystery of this school, you guys win! But if you can't... Then I win! And of course, waiting for the loser is the super exciting, super heart pounding punishment! Are you saying that if you lose, you'll execute yourself? Yep, sure will. And that's final? No loopholes? No wiggling out of it later? Of course not! Bears never go back on their word! Never mind all that. I just have one question for you. Oh, you're taking this serious, huh? Are you feeling okay? Is the mastermind only one person? Hmm? Don't bother. I already know the answer. You're all the mastermind, aren't you? You're all out to get me! I'm right, aren't I? I knew it! have all been working together, haven't you? I have evidence, so I know I'm right. Hey, you stole my line. You're all out to get me. I'm sure of it. I have evidence of my own. What a coincidence. I, too, have evidence to present. Evidence that proves everyone other than me has been working together. What? Wait, hold on. This doesn't make any sense. How can the three of us each have that kind of evidence? No, wrong. It's not just you three. I have evidence too. What? You too? The evidence you're all referring to is this group photo, right? Yeah. Huh? Wait, but mine's different. With the picture you have, I'm in it. But that can't be right. Because in my picture... 
See? I'm the only one not in it. In which case? Hero, you have a picture too, right? Let's see it. Okay, but be careful with it. It's pretty important evidence. Dude, just as I thought. So the secret in these pictures has been revealed. Secret or whatever, I don't care. You guys are all in on this together. That's why I'm the only one missing. But you're in my picture. You're the ones trying to trick me. So the whole purpose behind these photos was to get us questioning and fighting with each other. The mastermind laid a trap to make us each think everyone else was working against us. Huh? I laid a trap? A trap? How rude! What grounds do you have for such audacious accusations? I got, I'm the only one missing. In the picture Hina got, she's the only one missing. And in the picture Hero got, he's the only one missing. As long as we're talking about it, I suppose I should show you my photo as well. In other words, Monokuma gave each of us a group photo in which that person wasn't included. But we each saw our picture. We just assumed everyone else was the enemy? <laughs> Figured it out, huh? Yeah, I thought that must be it. But how was that a hint? Listen, can I see everyone's group photo one more time? It's not directly connected to what we're talking about. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I don't... about the photo already? Ugh. Trying to trick me with such an obviously fake photo? I'm still pissed about that. And on top of that, they went to all that trouble to make it look like we were wearing matching uniforms. Hmm? So you think they're fake? <laughs> no, no, no. I assure you, they're quite real. What are you talking about? There's no way. Yeah! I don't remember ever taking a picture like that. So it's gotta be a fake. I'm sure of it. But you know, can we really be so sure? Huh? Don't get me wrong. I don't remember taking this picture either. But... Is that really enough to be absolutely positive they're fake? What do you mean?
Now I understand. Let's say that somehow, we'd all lost our memories. Uh. That could explain it, couldn't it? Oh, I get it. So we all just lost our memories at the same time and forgot about the photo. Makes sense. As if, you expect me to believe such an unbelievable occult-type story? Yeah! We all lost our memories? That's just crazy! I'm not sure that we, they wouldn't believe it. No matter how much they refuse it, if that's the absolute truth, they have no before until they accept it. There's another way to prove it besides this. You're saying we all got spontaneous amnesia? Since when did this turn into some kind of sci-fi fantasy? Fantasy? I haven't lost my memory. Ever since I got to this school, I remember everything that's happened. So the idea that we all lost our memories is totally stupid. Obviously. Those photos aren't the only things that point to the possibility of memory loss. This DVD does the same thing. You're not gonna show us something indecent, are you? No, it's nothing like that. It's a video of all of us being interviewed by the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster. When you say all of us, you mean... I mean all of us, including you. You lie! I never did any kind of interview. No, it's not a lie. Just watch the DVD and you'll see for yourself. The headmaster did, in fact, interview you. I didn't imagine you would remember. It's not about whether or not I remember. What's the way to believe all this? That I, I lost my memory somehow? Well, we don't have any way to refute it, so we have no choice but to accept it as reality. How can you say that? We're talking about living, breathing amnesia here! To be honest, I have something else on my mind right now. Something else? You said the DVD contains recordings of us being interviewed by the headmaster, right? What were the interviews about? The headmaster sat each of us down, one at a time, and asked us the same question. He asked us if we could accept the idea of spending the rest of our lives in this school. is that? And how did we answer? We'd say no, obviously. Actually, we all said we could. Even me. I heard myself say yes. I could spend the rest of my life at this school. Why? Why would you say yes to something like that? I don't know. I don't remember a thing. The same goes for everyone else. Nobody remembers. You don't remember choosing to live here forever, or even talking to the headmaster about it at all. 
It doesn't matter if I remember or not. Even if I bought the whole amnesia thing, the idea that I would want to live here forever? That's just insane! How can I believe that? Insane or not, we can't move forward until you accept it. Am I right? You sure are, cause it's all true! What? I know it sounds absurd, but if it's the truth, there's nothing we can do about it. Indeed. We only have one path in front of us. <laughs> really? Yep. You all totally lost your memory at the same time. This is all... making my head hurt. And this isn't like some normal kind of memory loss. You stole those specific memories from us, didn't you? Oopsie. You figured that part out too, huh? Of course. There's no way we would all just happen to get amnesia at the same time. <sighs> How could someone just steal our memories? How? Come, come, come. That hardly matters right now. If I said it was hypnotism, will you believe me? Or we opened up your skulls and messed with your brains? Would you really believe anything I said? How it happened doesn't matter right now. What matters is figuring out what memories you took from us. That's what you're trying to say, right? <laughs> I knew I could count on you. The interview with the headmaster, taking that group photo, those can't be the only memories we lost. There must have been a purpose to it all. A reason for taking away our memories. Of course there was a purpose. It all has to do with the original motive. motive. You mean the motive you came up with to try and get us to all kill each other? That has something to do with the memories you stole from us? <laughs> it sure does. But that part's still a secret. Anyway, I'm sure it's not easy, but let's all focus on the class trial for the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. Okay, so you want us to figure out who killed her before we do anything else? He's behind everything. That much I'm sure of. But when you think about it, is the mastermind really here in the school? Of course! They have to be here somewhere. What makes you so sure? Um... What does make me so sure? Exactly! You're just making stuff up! There's no way the Mastermind is here. The Mastermind is probably a million miles away. Those Masterminds always lurk off in the in background, right? So who did it? Whoever did it is the stat my friend. When is the Mastermind re- Of course, they have to be. What makes you so- Um, exactly. You're just making stuff up. There's no way the Mastermind is here. The Mastermind is probably a million miles away. No, it's wrong. There's no question that the Mastermind is somewhere within the school. How do you know? Did you find some evidence or something? In the back of the data center, I found a panel that controls Monokuma. The Mastermind must have been using that to control him all this time. 
So there can't be any doubt. The mastermind has been inside the school all along. There can't be any doubt. In which case, there also can be no doubt that the mastermind is one of us. What? Why? Recall what Makoto told us Monokuma said to him earlier. So if the mastermind is in the school, we have to assume it can only be that 16th student. But how'd they manage to survive all of this? So we're the only ones here? It's not me! I'm not the mastermind! Well, it's not me! I blame Makoto! What? Why me? Cuz! It's super weird how you're the only one who survived being executed! Oh, I get it! The only way he could have survived is if he was actually the mastermind himself, right? Aw, oh, nuts! You got me! Wait! What are you trying to say? Everyone, calm down. There's no reason to panic. The mastermind's true identity will become clear soon enough. Just as soon as we find out who killed Mukuro. That's a good point. Rather than wasting time bickering, we should put our minds to work solving this mystery. Yeah, well, how much time have we already spent talking about the murder? He's right. What more is there to talk about? If you want something to talk about, I think there might be one thing. We haven't fully established what Mukuro's fatal injury was. Huh? But I thought we figured that out. She died when she got hit in the back of the head. No, that isn't actually what killed her. It was something entirely different. Wouldn't you agree, Makoto? I got it! All of the wounds covering her body. That's what really killed her. Hey, now hold on a second. You did read the Monokuma file, right? It made it pretty clear. Those wounds were made at least a few days ago. So they can't possibly be what killed her. Consider this. What if the murder itself took place at least a few days ago? What? What if, when we discovered her body, she'd already been dead for several days? If that's true, then naturally the wounds that killed her would appear to be however many days old. That doesn't make any sense. Because... Because she had all those wounds before she ever came here! Huh? How do you know that? Isn't it obvious? She was the ultimate soldier, right? So that means... You know... You're wrong! <laughs> she denied me... <laughs> before I could even say anything! <laughs> Come on. I mean, you think I'm... I'm not weird, okay? At least listen to what I have to say before you deny me! Think about it. 
Obviously, she got all of those wounds in battle. Are you finished? You didn't even this time, so <sighs> You made me go all cutesy. Don't worry, there wasn't anything cute about it. Mukuro was the ultimate soldier. She must have been in a, a hundred different battles. So, when you think about it, obviously, she got all those wounds in battle. Are you finished? <laughs> you made it. Don't worry, there wasn't anything cute about it. Mukuro was the ultimate soldier. She must have been so, so obviously. In Those wounds in battle! Are you finished? You didn't do any of this stuff! You made it- Don't worry, there wasn't anything cute about it. Mukuro was the ulti- She must have been so- Oh, obviously! No, it's wrong! No, it's wrong! Mukuro didn't suffer those wounds in battle. The file we found in the headmaster's room said as much. Despite the time she spent in battle after battle as a member of Fenrir, when she entered the school, she hadn't sustained a single injury. Don't be denied so completely. Actually, it's kind of refreshing. Of all of Master's training! Anyway, so we can be sure that Mukuro suffered all those wounds after coming to this school. In which case, they could be the very thing that killed her. As a matter of fact, it's hard to imagine any other possibility. When examining her body, I found that her stomach and head wounds came after she was already dead. Unless anyone has any better suggestions, I think we can say this with confidence. The wounds Mukuro sustained all over her body are what ultimately killed her. But if that's what killed her, then does that mean she's really been dead for who knows how long? That's exactly what it means. When we found her body in the garden, she'd already been dead for several days. So then, what about the little matter of what happened last night? Makoto, you said you were attacked in your room by a masked assailant. If Mukuro had already been dead for several days, certainly it couldn't have been her. So who was it that attacked you? I got it! The one who attacked me was the true mastermind. When we discovered Mukuro in the garden wearing the same mask, I naturally assumed she must have been the one who attacked me. But I was wrong. It wasn't her at all. It was the mastermind. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting a little impatient sitting here listening. I think I'm gonna jump in. Let's start off with a nice, easy question. Your assumption that I attacked Makoto is just that, right? An assumption. You can't really know who was under that mask, can you? I mean, that's the whole point of a mask. The true identity of the masked attacker is Mukuro Ikusaba. At least, that's what I think. 
<laughs> Do you have any evidence that might convince me otherwise? You never saw their face, right? So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. I'm telling you now, it was Muhuro Ikusama! You're wrong. Even without seeing their face, there's another part of the attacker we can use to prove it wasn't her. Oh? And what is this other part? Is it the right hand? Or the left hand? Maybe the right foot. Or perhaps the left foot. Or could it be the hips? You never saw there, so you can't have any. I'm telling you now, it was the wrong. There's another part of the Oh? What is it? The right hand? Or the left hand? Maybe the... Or perhaps... Or could it be... The hips? You never saw their face, right? So you can't have any idea who was under that map. I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba! No, no. what? Mukuro had a tattoo on her right hand, if I remember correctly. A representation of Fenrir. In other words, a wolf tattoo. But I saw the right hand of the person who attacked me. And there was no such tattoo. So there's no way the person behind the mask was Mukuro. Yeah, well, okay. You got me. I guess it wasn't her. But that still doesn't prove that it was me. It could have been, you know, someone else, right? Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I all have solid alibis for that entire night. Yeah, we were in the gym tearing you apart, so it could have been any of us. Oh, okay, sure. It couldn't have been any of you. But what about Kyoko? It totally could have been her. Uh-oh, no snappy comeback. Did I score a bullseye? If you insist, I don't mind showing you. Huh? Show me what? What do you think? I'll show you the one thing that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt it wasn't me. isn't it? It happened when I was first learning to be a detective. I was inexperienced. I thought you didn't want anyone to see those scars. If it means we get another step closer to unmasking the mastermind, it doesn't really bother me. My scars should suffice as proof. Makoto, did the person who attacked you have scars like mine? No, not at all. I'm positive. Then this much has been made clear. There can be no doubt that the one who attacked Makoto is the true mastermind. <laughs> this is just awful! 
on top of my secret being revealed, I had to look at those positively grotesque scars of yours. Uh, sorry. Did I say that out loud? I do hope I didn't hurt your feelings. Not at all. You can say whatever you want. Sure. As long as it means pushing me farther into the corner, right? Corner just yet. Because if you haven't noticed, the circumstances surrounding Mukuro's death are totally unknown. That's true. All we know right now is she was killed a good while before this morning. On the contrary, we don't know anything other than that. You're not going to tell us she was already dead before we arrived here or something, are you? <laughs> In that regard, you have nothing to worry about. I promise you, without a doubt, she died after our little killing game began here. Then somehow, she was killed in secret without any of us knowing. And after she died, who knows how much time went by before we found her, right? Did the culprit stash her somewhere? She couldn't have been in the garden the whole time, could she? If she was, she would have been totally decomposed. Just like your brain! Then, she was being stored somewhere? But... To hide a body here... To just store it somewhere? I got it! Mukuro's body was probably kept hidden in the bio lab. Bio lab? You mean on the fifth floor? That's right. It's actually set up for use as a morgue. So it's the perfect place to hide a body. And it'd keep the body preserved at the same time. Then you're also saying the body was moved from the bio lab to the garden. And I have no doubt that that's exactly what happened. In fact, I have proof. so sure the body was carried from the bio lab to the garden is the tarp that we found in the garden when i was checking it over again i noticed something i noticed that some text had been stamped on one corner of the tarp oh it says bio lab holy cow how'd you notice that tiny little thing Makoto's nitpicky nature seems to have surfaced with perfect timing. This proves that the tarp originally came from the bio lab. In fact, there's a whole stack of tarps just like it in there. So when the killer moved the body to the garden, they must have grabbed a tarp to wrap it in. Then they simply left it as it was to protect against the sprinklers, and put the code on it afterwards. Wow, you made everything sound so amazingly consistent. <laughs> That's just a wild guess! Where's your evidence? Prove that the body was wrapped in a tarp and moved! There is no evidence. I was simply explaining what I think happened. But you seem to be getting pretty worked up about it, wouldn't you say? Worked up? Now that the conversation has turned to the topic of the bio lab, you must be getting pretty nervous. Because the key to uncovering your secret identity is hidden within that room, isn't it? Are you talking about unmasking the mastermind? You see, the bio lab contained an inconsistency, one so major it can't be overlooked. La la la, 
I can't hear you. La 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 la. Such a child. Oh well, just ignore him. Hey, by the way, Makoto, what about that one thing? What one thing? <laughs> what do you think I'm talking about? Your family. <laughs> Don't tell me you forgot about that video message. So what do you think? Are you sure your family's still okay? Why are you bringing that up now? Your mom, your dad, your little sister. What do you think has happened to your family? Are they really as safe as you might have assumed? Stop talking about that! Calm down, Makoto. He wants you to get upset. Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Are you sure about this? That's impossible! What? What do you want? Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Are you sure about this? That's impossible! I'm not listening! Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Ah! I'm not listening! Better luck next time. Are you sure about this? I'm not listening. Proof, proof, proof. Are you sure about this? That's impossible. I'm not listening. Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Are you sure about this? That's impossible! What? What do you want? Are you sure about this? That's impossible! 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 I'm not listening! I'm not listening! 
This should prove it. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you like it and stay tuned.